Troy Williamson, at a press conference the other day, you and Dennis McCann had a back and forth over who is the hardest trainer in British boxing. Why are you the hardest trainer? I don't know. I think I'm just I'm built from a different cloth. I think I'm different to everybody else. Um, it's what I do. I eat, sleep, and I breathe boxing. It feels like over over lockdown, a lot of people maybe put on weight, maybe uh, you know sat on the couch a little bit, watched a bit of Netflix. Watching your Instagram, it looked like you just essentially had a six month camp. Yeah, I was um, taking over well during lockdown. I had, uh, had my own keys to my own private gym. And obviously I was doing a lot of home workouts, so I've kept in shape, I'm a true professional. So yeah, I've uh, been active through lockdown and then just carried it on into a full training camp. Harry Scarf this weekend then, what do you know about him? Um, he's horrible. <laughs> That's what his, uh, his nickname is now. Now he's a, a really good fighter. Um, he can box, he can, he can mix it, if he needs to fight, he can, he can fight. He, he's spiteful, we've seen that against Jack Flatley. Um, and it looked like he tried to box against Fowler, switch it, and so it's very awkward. But um, yeah, we've got we've got a good game plan, and we've uh, we've trained really hard for this, and I won't be letting it slip. Was he someone that was on your radar, sort of anyway, before this fight was made? Yeah, definitely. I, I knew that, that that fight would happen eventually down the line, whether it was obviously now or in a couple of fights time, because um, I knew he was game. I knew he'd, he'd step up to the plate, unlike uh, a lot of the super welterweights out there. A lot of people turning down fights with you, huh? Yeah, it's, um, I can understand why. I've, I, I'm a handful, I'm a, I'm a problem. So for all these up-and-coming fighters like myself that want to prove themselves and want to be the best, obviously, I'm a hard fight for any of them, and I think uh, a lot of them are just trying to protect the records. Well, he took Anthony Fowler the distance uh, in his last fight. Obviously, Anthony Fowler won. Is there a, an opportunity here where you could really make a statement and do a job on him? Yeah, I think if I do do a job on him and I do get him out there, and I think it's a it's a huge statement. Um, first and foremost, I go out there and I just go out there to get the win. That's what I've trained for. I've trained really hard, and uh, I'm really confident in getting the win, whether it's by stoppage or or by decision. The main thing is getting that win, and uh, if if that stoppage does come, I think it will be a huge statement. Yes. You've knocked out, I believe you lost seven in a row now. What is it about your power that these super welterweights just can't handle? I don't know. I think I'm not, I'm big for eleven stone. Um, obviously, I do it properly. I've got a proper nutritionist on board now, uh, Blueberry Nutrition. So I'm doing the weight perfect, and I'm maintaining it through like a seven eight week camp. So I don't go out looking for the knockout. But like you say, if if it, if it uh, if it comes, it comes. It feels like you're one of these fighters where the better the opposition, the better you will be. Is that fair to say? Yeah, most definitely. You haven't seen the best of Troy Williamson yet. Um, definitely not. Definitely not. As a percentage, how, what, what percentage of Troy Williamson have we seen so far? I'm not trying to blow me on. I'm not blowing me on trumpet, but 60%. There's a, there's a lot more to come from me, and uh, I think you'll see it on Saturday night, definitely. So what's going to happen in there? Saturday night, BT Sport, Troy Williamson against Harry Scarf. Tell us. Troy Williamson win, and still... Good luck. Thank you very much.